Have you ever wondered about the unique origins of Luwak and Tusker coffee? Perhaps you're familiar with these names, or perhaps they're entirely new to you. Either way, buckle up, because we're about to embark on a fascinating journey into the world of these exotic coffees. Luwak coffee, also known as civet coffee, hails from Indonesia. It's not your average coffee, oh no. The production of this coffee involves a curious process and an unlikely animal participant. The Asian palm civet. These small mammals have a peculiar diet that includes ripe coffee cherries. As they consume the cherries, the beans undergo fermentation in their digestive tract. The civets excrete the beans, which are then collected by farmers. It may sound unusual, but this fermentation process gives the coffee its distinctive flavor. The beans are thoroughly cleaned and dried in the sun before they are roasted. The roasting process is where the magic happens. It transforms the raw beans into the aromatic coffee beans we know and love. The beans are then ground and voila, Luwak coffee is ready for brewing. Now, let's shift our focus to the African continent, where Tusker coffee originates. Tusker coffee, also known as elephant coffee, involves a process similar to Luwak coffee, but with a different animal, the elephant. Elephants, like the civets, consume ripe coffee cherries as part of their diet. The beans undergo fermentation in the elephant's digestive tract and are later excreted. The collected beans are washed and sun-dried, similar to the Luwak coffee process. After drying, the beans are sorted and roasted. The roasting process is crucial in bringing out the flavor of the beans. After roasting, the beans are ground and packed, ready for your coffee machine. In summary, both Luwak and Tusker coffee undergo a unique production process involving animal digestion. This process begins with the consumption of ripe coffee cherries by either the Asian palm civet or an elephant. The beans are fermented in the animal's digestive tract and excreted. These beans are then collected, cleaned, sun-dried, sorted, roasted, ground and finely packed. The result? Two distinct types of coffee, each with a unique flavor profile and a story to tell. So the next time you sip on a cup of Luwak or Tusca coffee, remember the extraordinary journey those beans have taken, from a tropical coffee plant to the digestive system of a civet or an elephant, and finally, to your coffee cup. Like, share and subscribe the Farm Modernization channel for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.